All right, block ratio 5.0 is here. I don't know how we jumped from 4.3 to 5.0, but hey, companies have a weird way of naming their versions. It has all the new features that they promised, so let's take a look at them. Right off the bat, I can tell that the performance has improved even more. Like with the last 4.3 update, they had fixed a lot of UI improvements. Like the UI was much more responsive. They said something like 60% performance improvement, which I could totally see in real life. Now it has gotten even better. The app drawer, minor stuttering issues and all those things have been fixed. And battery had seen a huge improvement last time as well. So I'm not surprised that the battery drain issue has almost disappeared now. You don't have to click on the app box anymore to find all of your apps. You can just swipe from the bottom. The animation is buttery smooth. Everything is fluid. It's really great. It finally looks like a finished product. The onboarding has been changed up a little bit too. So those who are installing it for the first time will find it a little easier to organize apps into a particular drawer. The home screen is still relatively familiar. The left gives you the root and the right gives you the tree. If you don't know what those are, then you can check out some of the other videos I've made on this. They've also added signal to the uh, tree messaging app. So you can find signal notifications also in that section. If you're using this, I definitely recommend enabling the haptic feedback, which uh, definitely improves the experience a lot. Like you get these tiny vibrations when you run your finger around these apps. Of course, it depends on the haptic motor of your phone, but uh, it, it's generally pretty good. There's even that dock function available where you can just long press on an app and click on the dock option. And you can add a bunch of apps that you always use down there. You won't have to open any drawer to get to them. I mean, you don't have to use it. You can still use it in a very minimal way as it was before. But in case you do want to have a dock and you don't want to have as many drawers on the home screen, that's your choice. And there are general UI improvements, like moving apps around was kind of a pain earlier because you kind of have to wiggle it around and kind of hold it in a weird way. But now the long press options work really well. Everything is just buttery smooth and responsive. The app dashboard screen has been changed up a little bit where they have hidden a few options that are not directly available to you, like app grayscaling and custom brightness. You'll have to enable that using the ratio tool from your Mac or PC. It's pretty easy to do. It's a way of temporarily providing root access to apps on a non-rooted device using ADB. And yeah, if you have a rooted phone, Ratio Launcher works even better, obviously. Well, that about does it. Those were the new updates with the Ratio 5.0. Check it out if you haven't. It's available on the Play Store. There are detailed walkthroughs in my channel, so you can go ahead and check them out from the iCards. If you clicked on this video, obviously it means that you have some interest in Android launchers. So I want to know your top three best launchers you ever used. Leave that in the comments down below and I'll see you soon. Cheers.